Hey there friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Zephyr and I are here today to talk to you about a very special author that we are super, super excited about. Now, the reason I wanna talk about this author in particular is because she has really just blown up recently. So basically, she's an author I had not really heard much about until very recently, when all of a sudden, all her books are getting so much buzz we cannot keep them on the shelves of the library. I'm seeing ads for them everywhere. Every time I go to a bookstore, they're everywhere. And she apparently just came out of the woodwork. And I'm like, who is this author? So I decided to figure out if this was an author that was really buzzworthy and it was worthy of all this, you know, buzz and excitement, or if she was just sort of not that exciting to talk about. So who is the author? Who is this author that has been getting all this attention lately? That is... Frida McFadden. So this is the most popular book I would say right now. It's the one that is sort of everywhere that everyone is talking about. So I read this one, which is called The Housemaid. And I also read this other one called The Coworker, both of which we do have at the library. Now, like I said, she's been, I hadn't, she was not on my radar until very, very recently. And everybody's been asking about this author. So I figured, you know, I need to give her a try, especially because she writes thrillers slash mysteries. And I love a good thriller and I love a good mystery. So I decided to see, you know, is she worth all this attention that she's been getting? Or should you not waste your time on this author? So she's got a lot of books. Um, I believe what happened was she was either self-published or indie published originally and then was picked up by a major publisher who is now going back and getting all of her stuff in print, which is why there is so much of an influx of her books lately. So the two that I read, um, let me just tell you a little bit about them first. So the first one is The Housemaid, right? And this is the book, like I said, that is the most popular one that everybody seems to be talking about. And it features a, a, a maid named Millie who's going to work for this family. Um, and the two, the two adults are Nina and, and Andrew are the, um, are the, the spouses. So, you know, Millie is working for them. And first of all, I do want to say the prologue starts off with a twist. There's already a twist that gets you hooked right from the very beginning. And you're just like, Okay, what did I just walk into with this book? So she goes to work for this family and, you know, she starts to realize that things are not all what they seem. And she just keeps imagining herself in the role of Nina, in the role of Andrew's wife. And, you know, Nina catches catches on to this and there's sort of this like entanglement that becomes between the two of them and with Andrew, the husband, as well. I can't talk too, too much about this, but other than that, but what I do want to say is that there are some crazy twists in this book, particularly the ending I absolutely loved. I cackled out loud. There's not many books that I can say that I actually cackled about, but I was like, oh yes, this is excellent with the ending. Absolutely loved the ending for this one. So let's talk about the second one, which is the one that I read that I was actually my first one that I read by her. And I was not sure what to expect. Like I said, all I knew was that she was very, you know, popular and people were talking about her. So I went into this with no expectations. The coworker. So this is about two women that work together at this like vitamin nutrient nutritional company together. I think it was called Vitamix. Vitamix or Vitamax. So you've got Natalie, who is like the spokesperson for this, for this company. She's a salesperson. She's beautiful. She sells all the products really well. She does a great job. She's beloved in the company. All the clients love her. And then you've got her coworker named Dawn, who is a bit of a weirdo. Hey, I'm a weirdo too. So I say that with complete love in my heart. But from Natalie's point of view, she's a bad kind of a weirdo. So she's always on time, like right to the, right to the very second, never late, never early. She's always leaves exactly when she's supposed to at the end of the day. She doesn't seem to have any friends. She doesn't seem to have any hobbies. She's sort of like this loner, but like is really hard to interact with. Like Natalie has tried a few times to engage her in conversation, engage her in friendship, and it just kind of falls to the wayside. So we're getting the point of view of Natalie and Dawn in this story. So it starts off with Natalie. 
she gets an email from Dawn one day that says, hey, you know, I really need to talk to you about something important. But then the next day she doesn't come into work. And Natalie immediately knows something is off. Something is weird about this because Dawn never misses work. She's always on time. She's always, you know, right to the minute of when she's supposed to be there. But no one else seems to be super concerned about this. So when Natalie pushes the matter and investigates a little bit further, there starts to be this big big conspiracy that seems to be unfolding and she starts to get these harassing phone calls and she starts to think that maybe something happened to dawn and if something happened to her maybe the same thing is going to happen to herself as well so again this is another one that had a ton of twists in it i was really taken aback by the way my feelings fluctuated throughout the story like i started caring about one character and sort of feeling weird about another and then the way that that sort of twisted and changed throughout the telling was great so in the beginning i said that it's told from both points of view so it's told from natalie's point of view as she's experiencing this um you know growing panic about what's going on to dawn and what's happening to her but then you're also getting these email letters that you're reading that Dawn had written prior to this all happening, which is sort of filling in the details of what's going on on Dawn's end, but also more about her personality as well. There are so many things I did not see coming. And look, I know you've been watching these videos. You know, I say this all the time. I am not good at guessing an ending or a twist but i think that these twists nobody could see coming they are so out of left field and incredible took me by surprise i could not believe some of the some of the turns that this book took absolutely incredible reminded me a little bit of colleen hoover verity in the terms of like when the book started and i read verity and was like wow this this is going places i had no idea it was going to go and it sort of reminded me of that in that sense too so what is my conclusion as of right now so again she's written a lot of books i've only read two so far but from these two is she worth all this buzz that people are that, that is surrounding her is she worth all this hype and my answer is a resounding yes if you are the kind of person that really likes intense thrillers fast-paced books um cliffhanger you know uh chapter endings and twists and turns if you are looking for a really good fast read i blew through both of these very very quickly um absolutely give her a shot um, i'm looking forward to reading more of her works i think that she is a great writer um i mean again this is not like pulitzer prize winning material but i don't need my thrillers to be like that if i'm looking for a good fast piece thriller that's going to keep me on the edge of my seat it's going to keep me guessing what's coming i'm happy especially with summer coming up this i have a feeling she is going to be the queen of the summer because her books are great they're fun they're fast they're perfect beach reads if you like this sort of thing and i highly highly recommend her after reading these two books frida mcfadden coworker and the housemaid well that's what we've got for you guys today i hope that these books and this author sounds really interesting maybe you've heard of her before and we're thinking about picking her up and i hope after watching this video you will be excited to do so um thank you so so very much for watching friends and have a wonderful rest of the day